Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today I'm going to show you five different techniques in Photoshop to color correct even the strongest color cast in your image. Some of these techniques are really quick and some just take a little bit longer. But before we begin, I've made a free action for you that'll save you a lot of work and you can download this on Shutter Evolve. I'll just give you a quick preview of how the action works. It's called Jimmy's Color Clean and once you run it, we'll see that we've created a new group called Clean Color Group and we have three different images and these have applied three different auto color correction tools in Photoshop and you can choose which of these layers you want to keep. So let's say if only one layer looks good, you can delete the other two. So the first one, Color Clean 3, looks like it did a really good job of removing that blue cast. The second one didn't do such a good job. And the third one also didn't do a great job. Now if you're an experienced Photoshop user, you'll know that not all techniques work the same for different images. Sometimes one technique works brilliantly with one photo, and on another photo it doesn't work well at all. So it's very useful to have a good collection of techniques so that you can deal with any situation. That's why I'm going to show you how to color correct using five different ways in this video. But to save you some time, you can download these free actions. All you need to do is go into the description for this video on YouTube and you'll see a link to the article on Shutter Evolve where you can directly download this action. So now let's look at five different ways we can correct our colors in Photoshop. Here's an image of my hometown of Newcastle upon Tyne and it's a long exposure using a B&W 10 stop filter and these filters give us a very beautiful pink cast. The first method we're going to use to remove this cast is image and auto color and that's done a reasonably nice job of neutralizing some of the pinks but it doesn't look great. The next technique is image adjustments match color and neutralize and I've shown this before in my videos and we just press OK and this has done a better job than auto color. It's restored some of the nice blues in the skies and just softened the pinks a little bit. For the third technique we go to filter and Adobe Camera Raw filter. Then we just go to as shot and auto and then press OK and again that's done a very good job of minimizing the pink color cast. For the fourth technique, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Before I shot this image with the ND filter attached, I took a normal photo. And so this has close to the original colors in the scene. So if I choose our main window and go to image, adjustments and match color just as we did before when we press neutralize. This time I'm going to go to source and I'm going to choose color 2 because that's the name of this window and you can see color 2 here and now Photoshop has tried to match the colors from color 2 to our colors here and we have a couple of sliders so that we can be a bit more flexible with the output so if we bring up luminance we can change the brightness level in our image and if we bring up color intensity we can saturate it a bit more and if we're happy we can press OK and so now Photoshop has replaced the colors in our original scene with the colors in this scene. So the clouds now have a soft beige color. And you can see that we've taken some of that beige and put it into the clouds in our long exposure. And the final color correction technique, we can use a curves layer or a levels layer and establish the white point. So I'm gonna open up a levels layer and we can also establish a 50% gray point but I've already done a tutorial on how to do that correctly. So again, if you go to the description of this video, you'll see a link to that tutorial. So here we're just going to choose the white eyedropper tool. We're going to hold down Option or Alt on a PC and hover our mouse over the image. Now what we're doing here by holding Alt or Option is that Photoshop is showing us the brighter parts of the image. And you see as we bring along the highlight slider, those areas become brighter and brighter. And whatever's white at this point is more or less considered too bright and overexposed. What we want to do is just move the slider along a little bit just to establish the brightest parts of the image. So basically anywhere around here seems to be included. So I'm going to choose the eyedropper tool again and just click once, let's say in this area. 
and we're showing Photoshop what our white point is. And Photoshop has adjusted all of the colors around that white point. And you can see it's done a very good job of neutralizing the pink in the scene. And I think this, although it's not exactly the same as the original scene, I think this is much better and looks very impacting. And by default, it's also given us a very nice contrast adjustment. And that's it. Those are just five ways to color correct in Photoshop. Obviously, we can color correct in Adobe Camera Raw by using the temperature slider or Lightroom or using color balance or, or any other method in Photoshop. The more tools we have in our bag, the better equipped we are to deal with any situation. So I hope this tutorial has given you a few more tools to work with in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.